Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be solving the question 31 from the first chapter of the Hibbler textbook, Mechanics of Materials, and we have this column that is subjected to an axial force of 8 kilonewtons, which is applied through the centroid of the cross-sectional area, so we can see the 8 kilonewtons force applying at the centroid of this beam, and we need to determine the average normal stress acting at section AA, so we can see this gray plate that is crossing this beam and the last part we are asked to show the distribution of a stress acting over the areas cross section so first thing that we need to do we are trying to find the average normal stress meaning we have average normal stress equal to the force over the area of the cross section so the area of the cross section that we have is something like this we have all the dimensions so easy enough to find the the area basically we have the area which i'm going to highlight it in yellow so we have the area of this part uh which is pretty easy actually let's start with the area so we have the area of that part we know the length in here is 70 plus 70 or 140 millimeter so we have 140 that's that side and we also need the this little distance here which again from the question we know is 10 millimeters so the area of the rectangle 140 times 10 and everything is based on millimeter for now we're going to do the unit conversion at the end and we also have the area of these two cross sections that i'm highlighting in red so plus two times the thickness or this little part in here again is 10 millimeters so 10 times the length of what we have in here which if you look at the question we see that it's 75 plus 75 or 150 so times 150 and that's going to give us the area based on millimeters so let's just calculate this which is basically 1400 plus 3000 which is going to be 4400 millimeters squared 44,000 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared. So that's the area. And we also have the the force F. You know, our force F is 8 kilonewtons. So if we want to find the average normal stress, we basically have the force 8 kilonewtons. So 8,000 newtons over will be found in here. So 4,400 times 10 to the minus 6, we can also write it down as 4.4. To the 10 to the minus 3 and here we have 4.4 minus 3 that's going to be in meters squared and that's going to give us the stress in pascal so we have 10 to the 3 and 10 to the minus minus 3 for 10 to the 6 we just have to do 8 divided by 4.4 and if we calculate that we're going to get 1.82 times 10 to the minus 6 pascal or 1.82 megapascal and the final answer for this question so that's the part that we needed to find the average normal stress acting on the section and the second one we need to show this distribution of stress acting on so if you want to show it basically we have this stress of 1.82 megapascal acting everywhere so we have the same scenario in here and we have the same thing in the middle if you want to show it so basically we have this distribution in here all upward which is going to be the answer for showing the distribution of a stress acting on the areas cross section so hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any question we're covering different textbooks in this channel feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos and yeah you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one